Greetings, Alice Chandler's fans. Today we'll be looking at a 1951 Model CA. Uh, this tractor came out to replace the uh, Model C. Uh, I think the Model C came out in 39 or 40, around that, at that time. And the CA came out 1950, I do believe, and ran to about 56. 657 till it was replaced by the D10 D12 series. This is a narrow front model. It did have an adjustable wide front option. Uh, the rear tread on this one is uh, 24 inch tires. These are uh, 11 twos. And uh, the tractor came equipped uh, with a four cylinder motor. It's about a uh, 23 or so horsepower. Uh, this tractor does has the uh, factory engine weights on the side. And as you can see, I have changed out the generator for an alternator. Uh, the alternator uh, produces uh, 12 volts on this one very uh, uh, easily. The generator seems, you know, you're working all day, the generator works fine. Uh, since I don't work the tractor all the time, the batteries uh, wouldn't stay charged on it. So anyway, I changed this out to the small type of uh, alternator that works very well. Uh, this tractor does have a Zenith carburetor on it. And it has a uh, Old Bath air cleaner. I do have some brackets on it. I do some... Uh, antique tractor pulling with it at times. Um, so I just have those simply to add some suitcase weights. Well, the tractor is a uh, P01 of the uh, engine color, or the, sorry, tractor color, just correct myself there. Uh, this does have the electric lighting on it. Uh, pretty much basic uh, tractor here. It did have an option to get cultivators and uh, other attachments for it, belly mowers. Uh, this one does have the uh, pin hitch system, which was the original quick type hitch that Alice Chalmers came out. Uh, this one just has the drawbar on it, pretty much. Uh, you pull the pin out, take the drawbar assembly off, and you could back in with a, a plow, hook it the same way, attach the rear lift, and off the way you went. So these are pretty simple on the back. Uh, this one is set up for a drawbar use. Uh, to change it out, you would have to drop the drawbar assembly off and the lift arms would raise back and um, provide your lift for this. The later series snap coupler, the drawbar stayed on. You would still have your rear lift hit. Uh, it's a much better system. Hydraulic controls on this one, pretty pretty basic. Uh, you have a lever to for down, raise. You do have some uh, adjustments that you can make uh, on the hydraulic lift. It has a PTO, 540. Pull back on this with the clutch in and engages the PTO, let it out. Uh, let your clutch out and your PTO is on. There is no live PTO on this uh, with the clutch in. Alice Chalmers' way to have a live PT was through a hand clutch. This is a dry type hutch, clutch that interrupts the uh, drive to the uh, outer axle. You simply pull back and that disengages that clutch. The tractor will stop and the PT will continue running. Let it out and the tractor goes forward. Wasn't the best system. Uh, the dry clutch would get hot pretty quick. Uh, the wet series of clutches that the uh, WD series had, which is much better. I do need to clarify that the hydraulics do not work unless the PTO is engaged. With the PTO running, that runs the hydraulic pump. That will allow the hydraulics and the PTO to work. I just want to clarify that. Uh, the CA did... Uh, Enhance the transmission from the Model B and C. They have a four-speed transmission now. 
which pretty much gives you three working gears and then a fourth is for uh, road use. Uh, 12, 13 miles an hour is the speed on this. Uh, dual brakes on these. Throttle that we had. Um, simple sliding mechanism. Simple gauges, you had lights and then the uh, amp gauge on the off switch. Like I said, it originally came with a tw uh, six volt battery. This one does have a 12 volt in the place uh, for starting and choke. So there's that. These have the simple pan seats on them. Uh, most of those just had a pad of some sort. Uh, no bench seat, anything like that that was on the model beats. Uh, fuel tank, uh, electric start, oil pressure, oil filter, uh, distributor. Uh, these did not have a magneto that I'm aware of. Um, might have but like i say i'm not aware of that uh, like i say again more of the uh, side engine weights that we have here uh, then you have your uh, temp gauge up on top uh, oil fuel air filter and fuel uh, it's a pretty simple tractor um, cubic inch 125 cubic inch pretty simple like say the brakes are easy to change on them uh, pretty lightweight about 2400 pounds as is uh, easily weighed up I usually pull 2500 pound class up to uh, 3500 pound is normally my max class that I pull uh, it does okay, just uh, the rear tires being small hurts it, but uh, sometimes the right track conditions, you know, I do get really good pulls with it. It's got plenty of power. It's got a pretty low first gear. Uh, it revs high. Uh, on this one, I have swapped out the uh, Governor Spring for a little stiffer one. It gives me uh, much more RPMs. Uh, so I'm probably in the upper 20s, maybe even 30 horsepower uh, with this tractor. Uh, like I say, the motor is uh, real easy to rebuild on these uh, wet sleeve design. The engine clutch is easy to get to, you know, relatively splitting apart. Um, front wise, here you have the mounts for the uh, cultivator hookups on the front. Uh, you could have a hand crank if you didn't have an electric start. So if you did have that, then you'd have to have a magneto. Um, that is pretty much it. That's the basic overview. Um, what we'll do is give a, a short, short start here and show you how it runs. So, turn the fuel on and make the tractor is in neutral. For me. Easiest way is on the back through the drawbar. Get up on. Bang, ignition, ignition on. Give a little gas. Hit the starter. And that is pretty much starting it. Real easy, real easy. First gear is pretty slow, as you can see. And you got reverse a little faster. Anyway, that's pretty much it. That is just a quick overview of my Alice Chalmers Model CA. Thank you.